second graders and welcome to our last technology class. Woo! Um, I've been having a lot of fun making the videos for you guys, but it would have been more fun to actually really see you. But I guess we had fun anyways. So let me get Mrs. Erica. Hang on. Hello, second graders. Yes, welcome. Yes, we would have loved to see you um in person in the classroom but we know we couldn't do that this year but we still had fun um making videos for you so we hope you guys had fun this year and we just have a pretty short video today um we're going to show you some things that you can do over the summer so instead of just staring at youtube right um which i hope you guys don't do because that can really really just uh be something that um, it doesn't really help you, right? You don't really grow your brain by just consuming, right? By just watching, watching, watching. And like we learned earlier in the year, there's a lot of things on YouTube that are not really meant for kids or for your age. And it's hard to know a lot of times what that is. And the best way to protect yourself is to stick to things that you only know, right? That you know are just for your age. If you remember learning that in our um, internet safety lessons, right? So we're going to show you some websites that are just for your age, um, where you can be using your brain and learning things and having fun using technology. So the first one is our typing, right? Um, our typing jungle. So the lessons on typing jungle, I mean, they go all the way to honestly, oh my gosh, look how many, they have 685 lessons. Um, and I think we got to like 169 or something. So you can continue with that and you can continue with your typing because you'll be doing a lot more typing next year, right? In third grade, I'm sure your teacher will have you um, typing up reports and things like that. And you can't really be sitting there pecking really slow. That'll be so stressful. So you wanna keep practicing, um, find some fun typing game websites. I know we've used a lot. We've used Keyboard Climber, Big Brown Bear, um, we had a bunch of them, dance to, uh, mat typing. You can still use those over the summer. Those are all free websites. Um, and then that can help you with your typing. Um, another website that you can continue with is code.org. So code.org has a lot of these fun hour of code activities. Um, they have it, one on artificial intelligence. They even have a Minecraft one. They have a Star Wars, a Frozen, um, sports, Flappy Code. You can try any of these, they're all free. They're on code.org and you can keep practicing your coding skills. So that can be a lot of fun. Um, another great website is Tinker. So I'll, I'll put these in an email and send them to your parents, but Tinker has a few for ages five to seven. Um, they have some for a little a bit older kids too. Um, a lot of these are beginner. Um, they're fun, they're like games and you go through and you learn how to do the code for that. So that can be another thing you might wanna do over the summer. And then there's also um, another website called Scratch, which it's similar to code.org that um, it has all the blocks. And, but the fun thing about Scratch is there's a full library. You can add in so many different characters. Um, you can add music, you could even, change it to a different background. There's just so much that you can do with Scratch. Um, you can make your own account on here. You can save your projects. Um, you can share them with friends. Um, so these are just a few websites I wanted to share with you guys for over the summer. Um, things that where you could use your imagination, be creative, and you can have fun, right? Um, so we have one student, Aliyah, who sent in um, something that she created in the Play Lab. So we were gonna show it on this video. Aaliyah, I tried your game, it was so much fun. And I'm gonna show it to everybody. Um, so let's get started. Yeah, let's get started. So she made this fun game called Penguin's Home. How cute is that? So here comes all the characters. And I think what we have to do is we have to somehow get our penguin to go home. And so let's see, I think maybe it's near the flag. So look. <laughs> penguin home that was such a cute game Aaliyah thank you for sharing it with us that was so fun I love how you added all the different characters in and you made it into a fun game thank you so much that was so much fun 
Um, yeah, that was so much fun. Um, and so have fun over the summer creating. Um, have so much fun creating and um, practicing coding and just having fun with it and just use your brain and use your imagination. Um, remember, we always want to use technology for good. And if you're just sitting there staring at a screen and you don't even really know what you're doing, that's probably not good, right? There's a limited amount of time we should just be uh, watching things. We should really be using our brain um, to be creative and think and come up with ideas. So um, have a super fun summer. It was nice working with you all. Um, and we wish you guys a super fun summer. Yeah, have a super fun summer. Don't forget, play with a lot of Legos, okay? Because those Legos are creative. So, all right, bye guys.